Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. Today we're going to have a technical seminar covering the GM Hydromatic four-speed transmission used in the Silver Clouds and the early post-war cars. We're going to service it and we're going to take the valve body, the little control unit, apart and I'm going to discuss how it works. I'll, sh I'll do some air checks and I'll show you how things kind of work inside. So now this thing I can't pull out without taking this out. It has two tubes going here back to the governor that sends the governor pressures. There's two governor pressures. So I, I gently tap it forward and usually this tube falls down and dumps fluid all over me so I'm going to try to remember not to do that. There we go. Just like that. It usually gets me. And there we go. Oh no. <laughs> Um, let's get into the light. We're going to move now, okay? This is supposed to be a machine fit, and there's silicone on. Somebody put silicone on here, yeah. and it's not good. Because what? Well, any of that stuff, that stuff that I just pulled off, that little stringy, if it gets in a valve, it's going to make it stick. You use no sealer on this. So, okay. This is your manual linkage. This is what you choose the, the gear you want to be in. Uh, this moves a, a piston in here, big long valve that goes in there that tells the rest of the thing what gear you want to be in. This right here is your throttle valve. So this hooks to the, see how that moves? That hooks to the throttle linkage. So when you give it gas, it pushes in another valve. And the biggest problems I've found with that throttle valve, that one's really sensitive, is they're stuck in. So it always thinks that you're on the gas all the time and it doesn't back off when it's supposed to. Obviously the silicone is kind of alarming. This thing has got... Sorry I don't have all this memorized, I don't know all the valve body combinations and all that, but this thing splits in the middle. We've got a valve assembly over here, another valve assembly here, and then another one here. Um, this one has a detent, spring-loaded piston, <coughs> that just holds this gear selector in position. Okay, so I'm going to split the two valve bodies. Why do you need to put that silicone on, do you think? You don't. Because they didn't know any better? They didn't know any better. Yeah. I mean, why did, why did the person who did that think they did it? You think? Well, they had a better idea, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Some, some people want to seal everything. Anybody that knows, who, in the business, that knows anything about transmissions knows you don't put silicone in there. So obviously somebody who, there was a problem with the car, they thought, well, it's probably leaking in here. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. There we go. There we just split it. There's a little plate in between. Now, I don't know about you, but... Who the hell figured all that out, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, and why is that one that shape, and then this one's this shape? I'm every time I take something like this apart, I'm impressed. I really I am. And this is simple. This is simple compared to what goes on now. Although the modern transmissions are actually simpler, because they use electronics and valve uh, electronic solenoids to change the clutch, clutch packs. So, this is disconnected now, but uh, let's see, this is your manual valve, so this one right here, they call it the manual valve, and that's what tells you what gear to, you're selecting. And let's make sure I don't screw this up with everybody talking here. Okay, um, this is your throttle valve, and usually, oh, that's, that's a good sign right there. See, there's, there's a combination of valves and springs in here, and, and usually what happens is this one is stays stuck in. And you notice I took my gloves off. It's not because I like transmission fluid, but it's really slippery. So when you have gloves on, you can't hold on to anything and you use a lot of touch. So when I do transmissions, my hands get pretty beat up. That's what it is.
Was there a problem with this transmission before you take it apart? Yeah, it was shifting real harsh. Okay. Which, technically, when you think about that, that linkage being worn, what was happening is your throttle was, your engine was pushing really hard when it didn't need to, yeah. when the transmission didn't sense it. Right. It thought you were on light throttle. Yeah. That's real critical, and that will be addressed. Okay. And this this one doesn't really have much in it. This is kind of a strange little thing, but this holds that uh, that detente piston. Now we're going to start to see some valves. Now this is where it's really critical and where the pictures help. There's one valve. There's another valve. I'll pull this other side off. Are the transmissions the same, cloud one, two, and three? Basically, yes. Basically? Yeah, yeah as far as I know. <clears throat> you go into the R types and such. They have a little bit different valving. There was update. Or they call them production changes. Well, there's a loose screw. Ronnie, you just put all this stuff out and chuck it down in the, the, the rag, and you. How, how do you remember how to put everything back properly? When I. Pour it out and chuck it on the rag. I put it in well, proper order, that and I don't touch it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's. I've seen some uh, transmission shops where they have actual little grooved trays for different transmissions. Where they, when they take it apart, they just lay everything in their proper spot, and you can't mix them up, which is good. I just never have time to do anything like that. There's. There's one little shuttle valve and that goes. Here's what I'm doing, just so you understand what I'm doing. I'm. I'm going to keep this oriented like that, and I'm going to lay the valves out on the sides that they come out. Um, you're not supposed to use rags with lint in them, but if you clean everything and don't touch any lint, putting it back together, you're all right. This one, there was a little pin in here that holds a valve in place. Okay, that little pin keeps this valve from going too far that way. Believe that's how it comes out is in that direction. If I remember right. This should have it. Okay. Break for a second. Okay, we've got to the critical stage when I need to see where I'm doing. So I got my glasses. Oh, there's a piece of there's a piece of silicone there, right there. Yep. It doesn't belong there. It's normal to see this kind of sludge in an older transmission. It's a black sludge. And that's just dirt that accumulates in spots that doesn't get flushed out of. Now there's a little... There we go, I got it. You see these springs, <laughs> they're different. Don't mix them up. And you can see on this, if, you, if anybody wants to touch this, if you rub your finger across it, you see it's, you feel it's got a sharp edge on it. Yes. And you can see there's a little, feel it? Mm -hmm. Now, don't ever take sandpaper and, and clean this up. Use Scotch-Brite, which is an abrasive, but it's not a, a, a severe abrasive. It doesn't have any sand in or anything like that. And I polish these. You can see it's discolored. It's got little wear grooves on it. This one right here, well, that's not the TV valve, but that just causes more friction in there. And you want things to uh, move smoothly. Feel that burr on it, sharp edge? This is Scotch-Brite. This is what I clean them with. And I do it in a solvent tank. I usually cut little pieces of it. And I just polish them, polish them, polish them. And then I make sure this is clean. I put it in and make sure it's free. And if it's not free, I just keep polishing, polishing. Don't ever scrape or use anything to, to alter it inside. Now, there's another valve in here that should come out that way. There we go. Now it's gone. One of the
of the hard things is when you're putting, see that valve? This is the one that had the pin holding it in place. And you see it only goes out that way because this side is bigger than this. It's not going to go the other direction. So once again, I'm going to lay them in the way they came out. we got one more over here, and I think that one goes that way. That's it. So you can look in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's empty. There's no more parts in there. Um, that, do you see in there? So I'll lay it right there and the way they came out. 